Hi, Joanna. Hi. Sarah from The Upcoming. So Hi. lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what's it like working with not just Tilda Swinton, but her daughter as well on set? Uh, well, it's wonderful. It's hard to describe because it, we've been working together over quite a number of years doing both parts of The Souvenir. And you would never know that she hadn't acted before. She's completely a natural and, and has amazing instincts and, and, and has really, uh, you know, an incredible performer who continually surprised me and I hope I work with her on something else in the future. Well, the second part wasn't an afterthought. I can see both stories together and I never uh, saw part one as existing on its own. It was always part of, 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 a, of a whole. It's two films. Uh, and so when I, when I can see part one, I also can see part two. So it was just ready to be made. And I wanted to shoot them together, but for practical reasons, budgetary reasons really, I had to shoot one and then the other. It's, it sort of goes against some of the conventions of what we see in Hollywood, this, this film, this two-part film. Have you been pleasantly surprised by the incredible reception? The appetite for films like this is out there. Yes, I don't know. I don't really know. I don't think I can see it from the outside like that, but I'm very happy that people are responding it to it so well from different parts of the world. Yeah, well, it's hard to separate honor from the part uh, in the sense, not that she is Julie, but in the sense that, you know, we, 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 we sort of plunge ourselves into this world. And for Julie, she's processing so much after part one. So there's a lot going on for her. And then, and then she wants to express her feelings about the relationship she had in part one into her work. So it's a very complex sort of multi-sided, multi-faceted mirror in a way of, of, of sort of what happened in part one and then how, it, how she perceives it in part two. Well, the, 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 a lot of the characters, I mean, it was all written, it, it, one has to imagine that the thing was written at, at, at one time. And so all those characters were going to have a life or going to develop in part two. For example, Patrick, the character that Richard Iwadi plays, that it was always going to go on that journey. And I always knew that part two would be a bigger canvas. So I'm always sort of doing this with my arms because I just see it as a, as a, as a sort of bigger film. But it's more about Julie's scene in a, in, a, in, a, in a group of people. In part one, she's very much existing just with Anthony. Well, really, that uh, for anyone who's creative, and I believe we're all creative in different ways, that we can, that we can realize our dreams of what we want to create and that it would encourage people to, to, to dream up more. Well, I find it very exciting in a way. I did a sort of bit of time traveling in a way back to the 1980s. And there was so much that was positive about that time as well as politically a very diff difficult time. And in my 20s, I struggled a lot with different aspects of my life. But at the same time, there was a, a, a real feeling of anything was possible creatively. So it was, a very, it was very alive in that way. And I enjoyed taking myself back to that mindset and in a way bringing forward some of those ideas I had back then into the future now.